Hello and welcome to this week's 10 day trend. It's felt like the beginning of the year has been largely wet and windy, but a change is on its way. It's not going to be straight away and it's not quite going to be everywhere. To start off though, let's take a look at the bigger picture. So for the beginning of the week, it's largely been low pressure dominating the weather. There's been lots of dry weather around here on Wednesday, but lots of wet and windy weather as a result of this area of low pressure just to the south, bringing quite a wet day across Channel Islands and southern counties. But once that drifts away, that does allow a ridge of high pressure to stretch across the country. So that means Thursday it's actually going to be largely dry and settled. Lots of sunshine around. They can't rule out a few pesky showers, particularly around coastal areas of the north. I'm afraid this ridge of high pressure is fairly brief though. We've still got a good cold plume stretching across parts of North America and that's really driving our jet stream as it meanders into the Atlantic, largely moving northwards, so dragging areas of low pressure towards Greenland and Iceland, but that does still allow them to sweep in some frontal systems, particularly to the northwest of the country where it's largely going to be wet and windy towards the ed end of the week. And then we almost end up with a bit of a battleground between this wet and windy weather towards the northwest. That's moving up against this area of high pressure down towards the southeast. And then as we head toward, uh, into February, that really uh, makes a difference as to what's going to happen with our weather. It really depends on this location of the high pressure. And it could be the difference between something quite cold compared to something above average for the time of year. More on that in a moment though. Firstly, let's take a look at Thursday. So as that ridge of high pressure builds, that means there's going to be plenty of clear skies overnight. So a chilly night ahead, likely to see quite a widespread frost. Also some icy stretches, particularly across Northern Ireland and parts of Scotland. So do take care if you're out and about during the early hours of the morning, but it should brighten up nicely through the course of the day. Plenty of sunshine and dry weather. As I said earlier, though, can't rule out a few showers, particularly towards the northeast of Scotland. Quite a brisk breeze here too. So that's really going to take the edge off the temperatures here. Also some showers merging into longer spells of rain across parts of Shetland. Also the odd shower around northwestern coasts of Scotland, northwestern parts of England and northern parts of Wales too. But for the most part, a dry day, plenty of sunshine around and temperatures are around about average for the time of year. But as I say, perhaps feeling just a little bit chillier to the northeast of Scotland. Then behind me, you can see this frontal system edging its way in from the west. By the time we reach Friday morning, that slowly shifted its way towards the southeast. So it's going to be quite a wet start, particularly across parts of the south, central parts of England, also parts of Lincolnshire and Yorkshire can see quite a wet start. This will eventually drift its way further southeastwards, affecting parts of East Anglia, Sussex and Kent, parts of the southeast through the course of the morning. But behind it, it's still going to leave plenty of clouds, still even some odd spots of drizzle, particularly around hilly areas. But it's not all doom and gloom. We should also see some brighter weather, particularly across Northern Ireland, northern and northeastern parts of Scotland, also southern parts of Wales. Devon and Cornwall should start to see some sunshine by the time we reach the afternoon. Temperatures once again around about average for the time of year, perhaps not something slightly milder just to the southwest. Now, once again, you can see behind me another frontal system, so another area of cloud and rain starting to edge its way in from the west. But the difference is this time, this one doesn't move its way too far inland. That's as it's pushing up against that area of high pressure that I showed you earlier towards the southeast. Still, though, it is going to bring some thicker areas of cloud, perhaps even some rain just edging into western parts of Scotland and some fairly blustery winds as it moves into the northwest too. But elsewhere, it should be largely dry. There is still going to be plenty of cloud around, so quite a murky storm start to the day. That's away from the southeast though. We could see a fair amount of sunshine here that will build through the course of the day. And we could also see the cloud break up at times, giving some brighter spells. And it is going to be largely dry, though that frontal system still continues to slowly edge its way in from the west and turning very blustery here too. It's also bringing in some slightly milder air for western parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, but elsewhere once again, those temperatures around about average. Then as we head into the second half of the weekend, it does still move its way southeastwards. This is the same frontal system. So once again, quite a wet start across parts of Scotland, northwestern parts of England and Wales and parts of the very far southeast. This rain could be a little bit heavy at times too as it edges its way inwards. Also, once again, those very blustery winds moving through. A chance we could even see some gales across the far northwest of Scotland. Once again, slowly trying to move its way towards the southeast, but it doesn't really move very far as it pushes 
pushes up against the high pressure. So it rather stalls across northwestern parts of England and Wales. But the rain largely is starting to fizzle out as it moves its way southeastward. So once again, some drips and drabs of rain and drizzle, but largely just an area of cloud. But to the far northwest, away from this system, once again, things should start to brighten up during the course of the af afternoon across Northern Ireland, western parts of Wales, but still once again very blustery here. And also, once again, across parts of East Anglia, Sussex and Kent, we could start to see some brighter weather before that frontal system moves through. Temperatures once again around about average, but likely feeling a little bit chillier under those cloudier skies. Then what about after that? Well, the frontal system that I just showed you eventually moves its way towards the southeast. And then once again, we start to see this bit of a battleground between the northwest, so some wet and windy weather moving in here, battling up against this area of high pressure across central and southern parts of the UK. So it's sort of a twist between low pressure and high pressure, but which one wins out? Well, taking a look at this stacked uh, bar chart here, we can see more blue colours at the start of the period. That's a, a flavour of low pressure of some sort. And then as we head further into February, we can see more of these reds and these yellows, and that indicates high pressure dominating. But as I say, it does really depend on whereabouts that high pressure sits and what kind of weather conditions we'll see. Um, so it could look something like this by the time we reach Wednesday, so high pressure largely sitting to the south. So once again, lots of fine and dry weather across central and southern parts of the UK, but I'm afraid it's a fairly cold high, so we could see some pockets of frost, even some fog where we see the more settled conditions. And across the far northwest, that's once again where we've uh, drawn the short straw, some wet and windy weather also likely here across the northwest of Scotland, perhaps northwestern parts of Northern Ireland. Then as we head towards the end of next week, as I say, it's really dependent on whereabouts that high pressure sits. Now, this is the most favoured solution. So once again, that area of high pressure staying to the south of the UK. So that means it is going to be wet and windy to the northwest, but still seeing something slightly milder here. Across southern and central parts of the UK, temperatures are around about average, if not slightly below, but it is going to be largely settled. It doesn't mean glorious sunshine throughout the whole, throughout the whole time, but it should be largely dry away from the far northwest. There's also another option, um, not the favoured solution, uh, I might add, but that's with an area of high pressure over Scandinavia. And that drags in some easterly winds. So that means at this time of the year, quite cold conditions, perhaps even some flurries of snow if we see any showers move through. As I say, though, it's not the favoured solution, but there is a chance we could see something colder on the cards as we head into uh, the first week of February. As I say, though, it's not the favoured solution. At the moment, it does look like high pressure sat to the south, so something slightly milder but perhaps below average across central and southern parts of the UK. And there's also another solution, 9% chance of that area of high pressure slightly further south, so that's going to be dragging in the wet and windy weather across a more widespread area of the UK and also something slightly milder. But as I say, as it stands, it looks like the area of high pressure to the south, so milder, yes, across the northwest, wet and windy here, but largely settled across the south. As I say, it could still be a fair amount of cloud around, some fog and also some frost at times too. So high pressure building in for February, yes, but as I say, it's not going to be quite everywhere. For day-to-day -day updates, if you haven't already, don't forget you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Otherwise, that's it from me. Bye-bye.